Now here's a story, Anna. Oh, is it a good story, Danny? Oh, yes. So this uh, popular chain of Mexican fast food restaurants gets started here in SoCal. Okay. Now at its peak, 200 plus restaurants open from here to Chicago. 200 restaurants? Mm -hmm. All right, what mm -hmm. happens next? Well, unfortunately, sometime around the mid 90s and for all sorts of different reasons, these restaurants start to disappear. What? I thought you said this was a good story, Danny. So what, like, would all 200 restaurants just go away? Yeah, all of them, huh. since 1995. Now we fast forward 20 years. Okay, since 1995, so that's about fast forwarding to today, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. And this one guy, a food blogger, decides to embark on this journey of uh, reviving this beloved chain of restaurants. Okay, I'm sensing that our hero is about to enter the picture, am I right? Yep. Okay. And we are about to enter the chain of restaurants that this guy brought back from the dead. Awesome. Let's go to Noggles. So today we are here at Noggles Corporate Kitchen in Fountain Valley with owner Christian Zebar. Thank you for coming. Oh, we're so excited to be here. here. What Absolutely. do you think, Danny? I think you've done a great job just preserving this place and keeping to the original look of it, man. It looks awesome. Great. Yeah. Uh, thank you. We have the Noggle Stripes going all over the place, and people like those. Oh, yeah. Very it's really nice. retro, really cool. I'm liking it. Also Good. cool, these delicious yeah. french fries you have here. I, mm -hmm. I got to try one already. Yeah. So, it's the Noggle's crinkle cut fries with the original Noggle's taco sauce. Mm. Okay. Give it a try. Okay, giving it a shot. <laughs> now, 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 how spicy is this? Just curious. Yeah, it's on the mild side. This is a, this is the original? Yep. Are you liking it? Just been Let me back tell you. 70s. Well, I, I can't go that far back. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a wonderful <laughs> intro to this place for us. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Mm. And an interesting background. I mean, how did you get this going? How, what's yeah. what's the, the story with this? Uh, it started about six, seven years ago, maybe a little bit longer ago, when I um, was working on my food blog. Okay. And I had mentioned Noggles on it, and I got a huge response from people leaving comments about their memories of Noggles and it, the response was overwhelming and I thought maybe there's something to this and maybe people would want Noggles to come back. Noggles started in uh, 1970 and it had an American menu and a Mexican menu so there was tacos, burgers, burritos and other items. It kind of pioneered the twin kitchen concept so you weren't just getting one or the other. Right. And it was kind of a new thing for people to think of getting tacos and burgers at the same place, but it caught on pretty quick. It started in Riverside in 1970 and started to grow pretty quickly. And by around uh, 87, 88, it had 275 locations. Yeah. I mean, I was driven by the, the fervor of the fans, really. I offer them my soft taco, a handmade tortilla filled with beef and onions, senor nozzle sauce, aged cheddar, real Mexican food. Well, there was a lot that went into recreating the menu, and a lot of it was discussions between me and our, and our chef. I had uh, information from different sources that helped. I would take the information to him, and he would whip up a new batch of whatever it was, taco sauce or red sauce or meat seasoning. And we just kept getting closer and closer to the goal until we nailed it. I mean, you're having to actually sort of reverse engineer these from memory and from other people's input, right? Yeah, that was, uh, that's true. There was a lot that went into the process in many layers of it, but we've got it, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> When people come, do they say, this has my flavor memory in it? Well, a lot of people, they walk in and they step, they, as they step in, they go, this smells like I remember. And then they get awesome. the food and they say, this tastes like I remember. We ha we've had many customers say that. We've even had former employees of Noggles come in and say that they're amazed at how perfect, perfectly wow, we've been really? able to recreate the flavors. Wow. Now, you had to fight to open up this place again. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think it would get this far? I imagined that it could, but I didn't know what the reality would be. Um, I knew when I was fighting the legal case that the principles were on my side, and I knew that there were a lot of people that would be let down if the, the case wasn't ruled in our favor. Mm -hmm. And so I just felt like I needed to keep fighting and continue with it. Everyone seems to have their favorites when it comes to Mexican-themed fast food. Hankering for their old favorite, enthusiasts recently started searching for old recipes, getting the word out, then operating one-day pop-up events. What was the public support like for this place? Oh, it was pretty overwhelming. A lot of people um, just wanted it to come back. I knew that if Anagos was open, there was enough of a critical mass of people that would just go 
without debating it. The, the line was going out the door and down the street. Um, it was uh, tying up all the parking in this little industrial complex area. And that's not an exaggeration because I tried to come when you guys first opened and yeah, I yeah. didn't have enough time for my lunch break to uh, wait in line, but oh my it's definitely worth it though. Well, how would you describe this Mexican food? It's not like from original, in right, the heart so of Mexico, right? It's kind of, kind of, yeah. Food. Yeah, it does have like a, a Americanized California spin on it. So a lot of people say Calmex, which I think is okay. a, it, it's a decent, a pretty decent term for it. So, yeah. yeah. And people like it as Calmex, so yeah. Calme Calmex, that works for me. California, Mexican, yep. it's yeah. delicious Makes all sense. around. It's good. What items do you use to order there? I used to order bun taco. Bun taco, I had a feeling you were gonna say bun taco. I was getting you ready to point right up to the yeah, upper left corner. Right, that's it. You know, we opened up and did uh, our first pop-up, our second pop-up, and it just got us all kinds of publicity. Yeah. So we decided, hey, let's embark on this. Let's uh, turn this thing into an ogles. And then, I don't know if you know the history about that, when we opened the doors the first day, we said, let's do a soft opening, let's not tell anybody. <laughs> right. And there was a thousand people here, lined up around the building. <laughs> Somebody that set is up, so cool. Yeah, they set up a DJ booth outside. People no, were camping out front. I was like, wow, not expected. So, of course, I only prepared food for maybe five, six hundred people. You're oh like, you have this happen. Oh, it was like crazy. I'm like running in with like tubes of ground beef and yeah. tortillas and yeah, it was oh insane. Wow. So then we knew we had something, we had like struck lightning. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember Noggles as a kid, so I have my memories. But then you have all these other memories. Noggles spanned the stretch of the 70s to the 80s and there was some changes. So you get a lot of people like, no, that's right, no, that's right. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, I had people come in and say, you nailed the red sauce or oh, wow. the taco sauce. Perfect. And then I'll have somebody come in, oh, it's not quite right. <laughs> you know, right. So, you know, we're dealing with a lot of memories that sure. are 20, 30 years old, yeah. you know, so um, we did a lot of testing. This was a place people would go to after football games. It was the stop, you know. Yeah. Um, a lot of emotional attachment to, to the food here, the menu, the name. There's a lot of innovations that Dick Noggers had put in um, that we use are commonplace in a uh, fast food environment. Wow, you know? that's yeah. impressive. So, I see all this beautiful food. What do you think we should try first? You know, the taco salad cup, the really? cheese burrito, these are something that I think, well, I was surprised at how popular and how um, intense people were about this. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, and this great. is kind of, I mean, just the visual appeal of it. I mean, this yeah. in itself, I you know, I think uh, off camera you were talking about, someone had mentioned that they ordered this, but. They were expecting to see the shell sticking out. Oh like yeah, like, together, yeah, right? like you thought it was funny, but yeah, that was an what original was, what way. What did he call that? Uh, he called it bunny ears. Bunny yeah. ears, that's yeah. right, okay. Yeah, that's you would, if, if you wanted to order it, like on the drive-thru, you know, ask for bunny ears, you know, so you get the little taco. Oh my gosh. So Jesse, so it's good. mild. This um, is so good. In the meat, there is no additives, there's no fillers. You can taste that. Yeah, it's, it's just 100% beef. And it's just we're working with the certified Angus program right now. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a nice beef, you know. So, John? This is the uh, Very cheese, simple burrito, cheese burrito, right? Yes. This is one of the stars of the menu right here. Yeah. <laughs> special process. I know you guys needed special equipment to yeah, make yeah. this thing yeah, here. Yeah, you have to have a steamer in. Oh. So we had to find a steamer that would reproduce uh, the original steamer. So it's, it's a yeah. flour tortilla, uh, mild cheddar cheese, and then our, our red sauce. Oh, oh my goodness. What's yours have the red and green sauce for yeah. some staples of is noggles. It, is it this same red sauce? No, this is a, that's sauce. original taco sauce. Okay. The red sauce is more of an enchilada sauce. Okay. So do you want to just go for it? Do you want to just pick that up and get crazy? Go for it. Do it. Do it. Get in there. Yeah, so it's cheesy, stretchy, just the hint of that savory nice. spice. Yeah. Okay. Perfect, simple combination. Yeah, yeah. Is that money? I took too big Is that bite. total money? <laughs> so good though, that was can amazing. I, can I get a little oh, bit yeah. of that there, you maybe? You gotta try this. Like, oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh, my it god. is a messy deal. Oh, Here's wow. a napkin Thank for you. you. You're welcome. You know? you my mind. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh my god. god. It's amazing. So it, it's it's like a, a, um, a traditional enchilada. Both of them are traditional enchilada. This is amazing, uh, John. You should be very proud of this. Okay. <laughs> Thank oh. you. Thank you for recreating this. You're welcome. Bun taco, that's another big Bun standout, taco, right? yeah, very mm. very big. So it's essentially our regular uh, crispy taco, but put on our um, our potato bun that we use for our burger. This Lots is totally flavor. different. I mean, this is literally a taco between yeah. the bread. Yeah, and it creates a different uh, kind of textural and flavor component. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I was thinking, well, I'm going to give it a shot, but you know, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm used to a taco with a shell. You're right. This is so good. I mean, yeah. it almost... Here, you give it a yeah, shot. Yeah, but but it, you don't want to use the word sloppy joe because it's not that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't. It's, it's almost <laughs> like a taco in a bun because it is. Yeah. That's what I was, that's yeah, what yeah. I was gonna say. <laughs> okay. All right, but it's delicious. Oh, good. It's yeah. so good. But you got a, you got a burger <laughs> I there. I gotta try this one now. Yeah. yeah I also kind of remember the Ortega burger. burger. Yeah, yeah. I do have some memories of that. 
me unravel this little piece of magic here. Mm. Oh my god. Essentially, it's, a, it's an, an Anaheim chili or a New Mexico green chili. Oh man. Those are only seasonal, so you know, we have to kind of figure that out. Right. Really? Yeah. They're only seasonal? See if this camera can pick that up right there at all. I don't know. A little bit of that world famous down white down sauce on there. One, you know. <laughs> wow. Really? Yeah, that is, that's, that's amazing. I'm going for it. Is, that, is this rewarding for you? Because again, I mean, what a unique experience for a chef. Mm. Typically chefs are making things oh. that are already known, but I mean, yeah. you've like been able to like, hey, look, I've gone back in time and brought yeah. this back for you. That is amazing. So while you keep working that. I know, I don't even know what you guys just said. Yeah. <laughs> like... The egg and cheese burrito, this is what I've been talking about since I first heard you guys were reopening. Open. Awesome. This is what I used to get. John, this is a monumental moment in my life right now. Do you Great. know the last time I ate this burrito was sometime in the late 80s? Wow. Yeah. That was a long time yeah. ago. Hopefully we can <laughs> live up to those memories. Here it is. I want to see. Drum roll. Oh, God. Man, that was so good. Yeah, you get the red and oh green gosh. sauce and the, oh, the eggs. Oh, yeah. red and green Yeah. Mm. Nice. That is amazing. You know, I know like people at home too, like, you know, egg, cheese, burrito, it sounds really simple, but yeah. I mean, it's like this, the subtle little differences in it that it really so was a really unique flavor. Yeah, it was, exactly. I think, let me make, try it again. Yeah, yeah, you should try, make sure you're. <laughs> yeah, I knew he'd want to try it again, so I, I deferred. Oh, so good. Yeah, but... Right there, John. You got it, man. <laughs> Thank I bet you. you enjoy that. Wow. <laughs> Bringing back to the 80s, the good times. Totally, right? <laughs> I'm going to pill up my car on the parking lot now. You log into uh, Facebook and do a, a check-in here. You, you just log in and log out, but it checks you in to Noggle's Tacos on Facebook, and you get a coupon for a free taco on your next visit. This is the big uh, picture for you guys. I mean, you have this location, you had uh, another location in Huntington, uh, I guess over the summer that you open up. We do have a seasonal spot in Huntington Beach on the beach, on the boardwalk there, about half a mile south of the pier. And it will reopen again around spring break or Memorial Day, and we did quite well there last year. We, we had long lines again. That will happen, and there are more locations coming. I can't divulge anything right now, but there are more locations coming, and then franchising will also be happening. Yeah, you know, what is it like to be kind of a folk hero for fans like Danny when they come here? Well, I feel like Dick Noggle is the actual hero for creating the concept, and I feel like each and every customer that comes is a, a hero for recognizing the quality and the flavor that we have there. I feel like I'm the guy that brings them to, to this wonderful flavor experience. So it's a good experience. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been an awesome experience. We appreciate been. it, Christian. Thank you so much for having us in here. Thank you for coming. Yeah. You'll be seeing us again. Oh, oh great. Great. <laughs>